in the last exercise we created the authorization class authorization object and the fields needed for the authorization object in this exercise we will look into the steps to create the pfcg rules and then how we can use the auth objects inside the roles and how we can assign the users to the roles and the users with this particular role will be able to view the particular set of data so the steps we are going to perform is we'll go to t code pfcg and create a role specific to some car id um, and then we'll go to the authorization tab and manually inject the authorization object which we created in the last session so gfli cntry and then we will choose the car id so the car id might be lufthansa it can be american airlines it can be singapore airlines so we'll say for a pfcg role uh, which is assigned to us i will just say air india as the car id and then i will give the activity as display because this is the only option we have and then we will generate the profile and then assign the user to that role say we created the role like uh, underscore us in that case i will give that role to all the users who are eligible to see the flights from usa so air india might be one of the flights so so i will put the car id value as aa that means air india and then use that pfcc role to give access to the users who are in from usa and then we will test that access control again let's go to sap system and create our first pfcg role 